So today we're going to talk about the Chaikin Money Flow Indicator. And this indicator is based on the premise that price follows volume. And Mark Chaikin, when he designed it, he designed it around that premise. And essentially, the Chaikin Money Flow Indicator, the CMF, it's a volume weighted average of the accumulation and distribution of price over a fixed period of time. And the usual setting is 21 periods. The indicator actually flows across the zero line. The zero line is going to determine the strength or the weakness in the instrument. So the range between the high and the low of each period, that's all part of the calculation. So if price is closing near the highs of the day, it's believed that accumulation has taken place. Distribution is assumed to have taken place when the closing prices are near the low of the day. Now, the midpoint of the candlestick or the bar, whatever you're using to chart with, that's considered the line in the sand for a weak or a strong day. So when, when we have many days in distribution mode, we're going to see the indicator generally below the zero line. When we continually have price near the highs of the period, the indicator will generally be above the zero line. So reading is quite simple. Above the zero line, we're looking bullish. Below it, we're looking at a weak market and different settings of the period will cause either more movement or less depending on how high or low you put the setting as when you see the indicator whipping around the zero line you're essentially dealing with a market that has price consensus and may not be worth trading with any sort of trend trading mode now there are two calculations that have to take place before this indicator can plot and the use of the volume that makes this trading indicator valuable because when we see price rise on increased volume, which we see sometimes in breakouts and when price bounces off support levels, for example, we're gonna see a bigger change in the indicator. When we have increased volume on closes near the lows, we're also gonna see a bigger change in the indicator as well. So how do we use it? First thing you have to know, it's not a standalone trading tool. And you're gonna to wanna to use some other form of technical analysis alongside of it such as trading price action or price patterns. Now, if you're more of a short-term type of trader, like myself, the 21-day setting should suffice. But if you're looking longer term, three, six, and nine-month periods, you're gonna look at 63, 126, and 189 for the setting. So we can use it to do what? Probably the best way to use it is to confirm a breakout trade. And remember that every trend is going to start with a breakout of either a support or a resistance level. So when you have price breaking those levels with increased volume and we have strong bullish action, having the indicator on the same side of the breakout will confirm that breakout. And you can see that the CMF was over the zero line prior to the breakout on the right. So this could be foretelling that a successful breakout is on its way. We can also use it as an exit indicator. So if you see the plus and the minus of the zero line as a measure of strength and weakness, consider testing it as a way to exit your trade. So on the left here, this breakout is above the zero line and it's a legitimate breakout trade. But once the CMF goes under the zero line, we would get out of the position. On the second breakout, the CMF is above the zero line again. It gets some upside play and on the far right of the chart, the trade would be exited as the CMF crosses under the zero line. So I want you to note that price was ranging for several days before that exit. And when you're holding positions through ranges like that, it can be pretty tough on your mind. So what's the bottom line? Generally use it as a confirming indicator. And I think it's great for breakout traders being able to catch a major trend from the breakouts can can pay off tenfold. It can make your year. A rising indicator and rising price will show a strong instrument and you'd want to find a way to get in the longs. Indicator falling and price shows a weak instrument, you'd want to be finding a way to get short. Swing traders, you'd probably want to stick with a 21 period setting. If you're looking to hold longer term positions, adjust that period. But I say this all the time, whatever you're deciding, you have to test it because it's way too easy to just slap on an indicator and just start trading it live. So don't do that. Thanks for watching. Any questions, pop them below and I'll get to them. Thanks.